Hey guys, I've started uploading stuff on my second channel. Go check that out and subscribe if you want to, you know what I'm saying? Welcome, my dear friends. Today we're celebrating 25 years of Sonic. That's right, it's been 25 years since the Blue Blur took his first steps in Green Hill Zone and his first steps into your heart. Because everyone loves Sonic. Watch, 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 right here, right here. Oh. Oh dear. Now I have something to confess. I am a Sonic the Hedgehog fan. Much like everyone else. No, but I love most Sonic games. I loved watching Sonic X back in the day, and the blue blur will forever hold a special place in my heart. So let's take the piss out of some terrible creepypastas about him, eh? You thought Sonic.exe was bad? Well, it is, but these are some other stories that might be just as bad. Links to each story is in the description. I'm gonna summarize some of them, and read some of them in their entirety, because they're impossible to summarize without leaving out the really juicy bits. Now if any of the authors of these stories happen to be watching this video, please remember that I'm only criticizing the stories and not you as people. Keep writing, keep learning, and I'm sure you'll make something great in the future. Don't take this video personally. Sit back, Sonic fans. Sit back and enjoy. Number 10. Sonic 3 and Knuckles, the final story. Our first Sonic Tales begins when the author of this story found a brand new Sonic game in the official Sega site called Sonic 3 and Knuckles, the final story. The author immediately downloaded the game, and the game file was called s3k.die.exe. Once pressing start, our lead was shown a menu with the options start, sound test, and triple question mark. Pressing the question marks resulted in what appeared to be a Japanese message, and then a picture of a killed girl. The author was terrified, and pressed enter again. And behind the girl, Tails Doll appeared. The game then started. The graphic was awesome, according to the author. Robotnik arrived with his ship, and another Sonic appeared. The author had a bad feeling about this, as Robotnik then whipped out a gun and killed Sonic. It has very blood. Our lead was now playing as Silver. It was pretty good. Tails Doll appeared again, and Silver was petrified. Tails Doll then killed him, and the player now took control of Blaze, the author's favorite Sonic character who entered a house. Inside, Silver's corpse laid on the floor with his organs all around the house. It has very much blood. Blaze started crying, and her crying was very realistic. The author felt bad for Blaze, and turned off the volume, but could still hear her crying. Well, Tails Doll appeared behind Blaze and killed her too. The game ended. Our lead turned off the computer and went to bed. When they woke up, they saw a message in Bulgarian that translated to... Sorry, but you must die. When you play the game, you must. I love you, Blaze. The author finishes the story by asking the all-important question... Did Blaze really love me? And did she die? When I turn on my PC, the file was deleted. That is a love story for the ages. Romeo and Juliet? <laughs> Titanic? Oh, please. Miraculous Ladybug? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. The final story? This. This is the one. Number 9. Sonic Faded Colors This story is all about the time when our main character gets to borrow Sonic colors from a strange boy in their school, who didn't need the game anymore. The author asked if they wanted anything in return, but the boy simply said, 
consider it a gift from a friend. <laughs> As he winked, ding, and smileed. When the author came home, they started playing the game, and despite never having played a Sonic game before, they found it odd how there were no wisps to save, and almost no containers to find. When the first boss was meant to appear, there was no boss. Sonic looked around, confused, and then looked at the screen, as his color turned a little pale. Was I too slow? The game went on like that, with no enemies to fight, and Sonic getting paler with each level completed. Soon enough, Sonic began to walk, as he couldn't run anymore or pick up rings. The time for each level also spelled out R to sl zero w In the end, Sonic was on his hands and knees, and nothing but a white-gray blob. He looked at the screen and said, for the sake of the author's privacy, they're going to use their cover name. Oh, Kale Kaiti, it wasn't me after all. It was you who was too slow. You didn't get here in time, and now the Wisps are dead. All of them. Eggman has won, because you were too slow. Are you fucking serious, Sonic? You're too lazy to run that you're walking on your fucking hands and knees, and you have the audacity, the nerve, to blame Kale Kitty for this, you motherfucker! Who do you think you are, Sonic? WHO DO YOU THINK YOU ARE?! <laughs> I'm having way too much fucking fun with these videos, oh my god. Eggman came out of nowhere and thanked the player for being too slow for Sonic to handle and said that he had drained Sonic's emotion to the point of depression. Sonic appeared on the Wisp planet, looking grey and slightly transparent, and whispered, Kale Kitey, why were you too slow? Some more wacky stuff happens, and then Sonic says, This is your fault, Kale Kitey. You didn't get here in time. Now every Wisp is dead. You were too slow, and you always will be. No matter how fast you run, you will never escape me. I will find you. I will kill you. Because like I said, he got really close to the screen. And Kale Kitey could have sworn they saw Sonic.exe for a split second. You're too slow. Dun dun dun. There was a knock on the door. It was the strange boy. Hey, he said. I know some people in this neighborhood, so I thought I could come over and see how you liked Sonic Colors. I never want to see that disc again, said Kale Kitey. He did a really creepy smile and asked, You've met with a terrible fate, haven't you? Now Kale Kitey were getting freaked out. They weren't expecting a Ben Drowned quote. He laughed and said it was just a joke, so they laughed too. Then, he left, never to be seen ever again. So I warn you, if a new kid comes to your school and offers you a Sonic Colors game in a baggie, reject the offer no matter what. Even if he sticks it into your backpack, don't play the game, no matter how bad you want to. Give it back to him. It may be gathering a list of people who played the game. It may be going after him. And it may target whoever has the disc last. Next. You're too slow. Number 8. Sonic the Hedgehog, No Mercy. When I was little, I always played the original Sonic the Hedgehog for the Sega Genesis. I was obsessed with the game. I was recently cleaning out the attic when I found my old Sega Genesis. But sadly, no Sonic the Hedgehog won anywhere. I asked my friend, let's call him Johnny, if I could use his credit card since we were both huge Sonic fans. Johnny, being the awesome friend that he is, agreed and we ordered the game off of eBay. The game took two painful weeks of waiting to get here. The game finally arrived in the mail, and I called Johnny over. The game had no cover, but a piece of paper with R.I.P. horribly written on it. 
We started up the game with no problems. The title screen was a little odd. Everything was normal except for Sonic. He had black fur instead of blue, and he had red demented eyes with a smile of razor sharp teeth to match. We shook this off as just a glitch and started a new game. I wish we stopped playing there, but we did not. The game started up like normal, but as we passed through the levels, his fur got darker and his eyes got more red, just like on the title screen. And the music played the Sonic theme for every level, but it kept getting lower and distorted as we continued on in the game. By the time we reached the final level, Sonic looked exactly the way he did on the cover, and the music was unrecognizable. Eggman had a look of terror on his face. As we defeated Eggman, a cutscene played. Eggman said in a chat bubble, Please have mercy! Sonic replied, I show no mercy! Sonic then pulled out a knife and killed Eggman as hyper-realistic. Blood came out. We shut off the game and burned it. I let Johnny stay at my place for the night, as I could tell he was shaken up. The next morning, the game reappeared on the coffee table. We tried every method to get rid of the game, but it always reappeared. We even tried to send it back to the original owner, but when we looked at his eBay account, it said he did not exist. That's the day I learned that Sonic shows mercy in such small amount that he doesn't at all. Number 7. Starry's Torment. The story we're about to go over is one of the most horrifying events that the author has ever been through, whose name is Alan. The date was November 2nd, 2005, their birthday. As they woke up, they began playing Sonic Adventure Battle 2 on their GameCube, and entered the Chow Garden as Tails. In the Hero Garden, something was odd. The garden background was a background with flames, black sky, dead trees, and crimson red water. The color of blood! In the water was also Alan's chow, who was cut up. Alan began to ponder to himself. What the hell happened to the game I loved? Oh well, let's keep going. Alan soon found the chow starry, who was crying. There was blood coming down from his black eyes, and his stomach was open, with his guts hanging out and touching the floor. The game froze, and Alan resetted it. When entering the garden again, a horrible distorted screech was played. Alan tried to shut off the GameCube, but it wouldn't turn off. Ooh! Starry appeared on the screen, holding Tails' head. Long time now see, do you want to play with me, the forgotten one? Ellen began running towards the front door to escape this nightmare, but all exits were blocked. Tails said, There's no escape from Starry's torment, he's got us both! Shut up you stupid fox, said Starry. Ellen, you know how long it's been, haven't you? said Tails. Ellen simply stood by the door in tears. He was being tortured by his own chow. Another screech came, louder than the last, and Alan's ears began to bleed. His GameCube exploded, and he passed out as his body was swallowed by a hole from the floor. You forgot about me ever again, and you'll end up like Tails. How Alan survived, he is not quite sure, but he assures us that he is imprisoned by a demon that goes by unknown figure. I wonder how he was able to get this story out to the world, eh? Number 6. Sonic 2 Gone Wrong One day I was going through my attic and found my old Sega Genesis. I was sitting there remembering all the fun I used to have with it. I looked to see if I had any games, I didn't. So I decided to go to my local video game store called Just Press Play. I found a copy of Sonic 2. I bought a copy of the Chart Rage for $1.99. I went home and I started the game. The Sega logo came up and when the voice said Sega, 
It sounded deep and demonic. The title screen came up, looking horrible. Sonic was smiling, with mountains slowly crumbling in the background. I pressed start and the level Emerald Hill Zone appeared and the sky was pitch black. Then, red pixels started to fall from the sky. It looked like blood. One landed in front of Sonic and red pixels splattered everywhere. It looked horrifying. I began to move Sonic, then I realized, where is Tails? I went through the level normally. Then, I saw Tails with spikes through his chest, and in the background I heard Dr. Robotnik laughing. All of a sudden, spikes fell and killed Sonic with blue going everywhere. Then, I spawned in Chemical Planet Zone, with chemicals surrounding Sonic. Sonic drowned, and he flew out of the chemicals and hit the ground, coughing up blood, and he said, You did this to me! and died. At this point, I ripped out the chart rage out and burned it. Poor, poor chart rage. What did it ever do to you? We will never know. Sonic. Sonic. Number 5, Sonic Satam, The Lost Episode. So this thing starts out just like every goddamn video game or lost episode creepypasta starts, as our lead decides to buy a super cheap Sonic Satam DVD box set off of eBay. I mean every episode, how could he say no? He called his friend Mario over and asked if he wanted to watch the episodes with him. And Mario complied. When he arrived, he checked out the box set and saw that there was an episode on the set that had never aired. The author said, Ah oh, shit! This is so awesome! As they began watching the lost episode. The title of the episode was You're Dead with the Wrong Your, but our heroes thought nothing of it. A loud screeching noise came out of the TV as the episode started and the quality was horrible. Sonic appeared with what looked like an M14. <laughs> Sonic appeared with what looked like an M14. Then he fired the Danum thing as someone screamed, and then Static appeared for three minutes, then Sonic came into view with a god-awful smile. The friends peed their pants, then Samune screamed, then the show was back on, it cut to Tails, he looked pissed off and so did the other freedom fighters, then Tails said, we don't have to stand for this fucking bullshit, let's get that bloated son of a bitch and rip his arms off. Then they were at Robotnik's fortress, then Rotor Walrus came to the front of the pack with red hyper-realistic eyes, and he had an M134 minigun in his hands and fired all they heard was the firing of the gun. Then it stopped. Our heroes just looked at each other, then the then it cut to the next scene, it showed Tails, he had photorealistic eyes and he pulled out a Colt M1911 pistol and shot Robotnik to death, then Static came! Then it cut to a scene where Sonic was walking through the main village and he was crying, then Static appeared, then Sonic got closer, he was still crying, then the camera panned in on his face, then the screen blacked out, red text appeared. Oh my fucking god, oh! It read Sonic Suicide times 3, then it said you're dead, you're dead, you're dead. Then it cut back to Sonic with a deep voice that said, DO IT! Then Sonic sh th then it showed Sonic with an early modal double barrel shotgun. <laughs> then he put the gun in his mouth, then Tails and Sally walked in, they shouted NO! But Sonic ignored them, he cocked both hammers and pulled both triggers with his his head ex exploded, his eyes lit up from the fire. But for some reason the gun blew open and the shells rolled onto the camera full screen. They said 16 Gouage Remington. Then the episode ended. 
In the end credits, when it said the date, it said Dick Entertainment 1966, then it went to the main menu, the leads gaped, then the author said 1966, but how? But how the show came out in 1993? Then they tried to eject the disc, but then it came out and was melted. They contacted Dick to see what the fuck they sent them, even though they got it off of eBay. They said they did not know what he was talking about, then he told them about the date. They said that Deke was not even created till 1971, then hung up. We looked at each other. And then the story ends. Just... Wow. That was absolute brilliance, like you cannot deny that that might just be the greatest story ever written. If anyone, ANYONE thinks otherwise, then you just don't get it. You're not smart enough. Number 4, Sonic.Ive Part 1 One day back in mid-2004, I downloaded a file to my computer titled Sonic colon Ive. I was so sickaid to play it, then it finished downloading, it just said Sonic. I thought nothing of it and started the game. The game started and the title logo came up. It showed Sonic, but not the happy-go-lucky Sonic. Sonic looked sick, as if he were about to throw up, but he tried to hide it. Then the game started, it showed Sonic and Tails in the Green Hill Zone from Sonic 1. But the music wasn't even from a Sonic game. It was the underground theme from Super Mario 2, but it was in reverse. Then I started Sonic running up a hill, then I saw blown up and burned robots everywhere and dead animals. Then Dr. Robotnik appeared. Oh my lord, his face was terrifying. His face was in full view, and he had red blood-stained hyper-realistic Ice, he said you can't catch me Sonic, ran after him with Tails following. The three approached a rickety bridge, Sonic and Tails caught up with Robotic, he threw uh, three hammers, they all hit Tails in sensitive places. Then Sonic got mad, he pulled out a huge blade and cut the ropes on the bridge. The rope snapped, then Robo- <laughs> The rope snapped, then Robonic fell and spattered on the rocks below. Sonic turned back to Tails, who was crying. He had been hit with three hammers in the eye, the groin, and his chest, and he was covered in blood. Sonic walked over and started hugging and crying with his friend. I just watched the screen twitched violently, then a picture of a dead Robotnik, he was covered in blood, and his entrails were ripped all over the screen, I puked a bit. Then it showed Sonic and Tails crying together, then a zombie-like Robotnik appeared, it said, I'm coming for you. Then it vanished into thin air. Sonic and Tails started throwing up everywhere, then they looked at me. Part 2 after that sense, Sonic didn't snap out of his Robotnik rage and struck Tails repeatedly. I was watching my mouth hanging open. What the fuck are you doing, you blue idiot? I shouted, then eventually he snapped out of his rage. Tails sniffed his eyes, were watery. Sonic, what? He shouted in a demonic voice. Tails, S Sonic, in a high-pitched voice. What the fuck do you want, you what, you little fucking orange dickhead? Fuck you! <laughs> Gold Sonic, it hurt my ears. Then he gave Tails a black eye and broke hit Tails. Tails cried out in pain. I heard his little bones creaking. He started crying and tried to run, but Sonic said, Get the fuck over, asshole! I'm not done with you, you little prick! I was crying by this point. I was scared. Finally, Sonic snaped out of it for good. Sonic looked at Tails. He was all beaten up. S -s 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 Sonic! Wailed Tail. Tails, what happened, said Sonic. 
You my monster, get away from a me! Tails ran off crying. Sonic said, Tails, wait, come back. He sat down and thought about what he did to his best friend. He started to cry, I'm a mon's monster. Suddenly Knuckles appeared, WTF did you do that to Tails, man? Sonic explained the whole thing to be continued. Part 3 Then after that the worst possible thing happened, the power went out, boink! I was doomed or so I thought. Then the power came back on, so did my computer, and then the screen cut back to Tails. Running away from Sonic, not knowing he was calm, he bumped into Creme. She looked at Tails, she screamed, she cried, what happened to you, Tails? Said Sonic, she helped him walk to a shelter where he fell asleep. He had a demonic nightmare about Sonic chasing him, ripping his guts out. He woke up crying, screaming, help! Cream came into the room. What happened? Sonic, he's after me. Then Cream left the room and went outside. She was just strolling along. I suddenly found myself controlling Cream. She happily skyped along the trail, ended up in some sort of warp zone, and it said Robot Hell. It looked like Sonic sat M with SMB3 Ness Overworld. Playing in reverse, she looked scared until she found Sally Acorn and Amy Rose after she got through the bad parts. She told them about Sonic and what he did to Tails. They were shot, three of them headed back to the warp zone. They went back to Tails, he was in the room coughing up blood. Sally, Amy and Creme walked in, oh my god, they said I shut, up, shut my laptop off. And went to bed, uh, awoke the next morning at 6am and went back to the game. It was still on the part when then the screen glitched up with loud noises and Sonic was trying to find Tails. And that is the ending. Can someone for the love of God please, please explain to me what the f fuck just happened? Because I... I am not quite sure. Number 3. SonicGen.exe Hey, let me start by saying I did not have contact with a company and I know about these things. I am a fan of gaming creepypastas and I can be stupid sometimes, but I did do what I had to do. Like Mullet Mike and others like him would turn off the game. I was the one who did turn it off. I would play that game. If it was on a different disc, but not if it was on that disc. Okay, I am calm, but let me say the game so I can get Samash that disc to bytes. It was SonicGeneration.exe. Oh god, get it out of here, I killed that disc and that demonic Sonic to bytes. Okay, let me start from form the beginning. I lost my actual Sonic Generations disc. And can't help but find another, my friend Leo, and I got our hands on a Sonic Generations disc, but it cost the exact amount, not that I got it for free junk, I got it at GameStop for $20. Me and Leo got to my house, we put in the game into my PS3. Oh, how we would regret that decision. When we booted the game up, all the same on tile, we got our first achievement, it said Bloodlust Achievement. I told Leo that we decided to pull out a hammer and a knife and my rubber snake. Just in case I had to explain to him never to trust something like that. If you do see it on screen and we should smash the disc if it does anything else strange happens. Because I have seen something like this happen in a creepy pasta before. But I did not recall which one it was. Soon we decided to smash it because it said both my name and Leo's, but Sonic said my name and said do it and well kill both of oo. I yelled at the top of my lungs and said yeah right, but if we don't you'll do it anyway Sonic. Oh Adam, didn't get it but you did. Hey ursonic.exe, the demonic Sonic from the sonic.exe creepypasta. Oh glorious, I see my name follows me now, sit, it's time for round three. Yeah, well the real Sonic would not let Ooh do this to us, 
I know he is in there. Nope, he is dead. Leo grabbed the hammer and ran towards the TV. As if hypnotizing Leo, Sonic said, Kill yourself. And Leo almost did it. I did not stop him, he would have. Leo fell towards the floor. He passe out. I pleaded with Sonic to let us go, but he denied and said play the rest of the game. I cried, their cont contemplate uh, equals ing with myself to do it or not. He looked different now. He had that Sonic.exe look to him now. I cried and ran and pressed eject and the power but but pun but nothing happened. Soon I had no choice but to pick up the controller and I played Sonic, a different Sonic appeared on the screen depicting me, I thought I ran towards the evil Sonic. It was a fight, the good Sonic winked at me and, si and said, I gotcha, now smash the disc to kill him and the other Sonics. I did it and the demonic insane Sonic was dead, I hope. 11, 12... 13 RA3 Number 2 Sonic the Hellhog Unfinished Yes, this story was never finished That is the biggest shame of my life And this world of ours This cruel, cruel, unfair world Filled with darkness, stupidity, and... Death. I was a fan of Sega and 4Kids, I watched his shows, when there was an episode pooping up, it said Sonic X, I was exited, but when it came it said Sonic the Hellhog, I thought the name was weird, but the show started regular with everybody in it, but Sonic was full of blood, and his eyes red, instead of green, it's like he was a demon, once he saw Amy he killed her, that was my sis fave character, but mine was Sonic, but he looked still weird. Tails was looking like a demon too, his tails are sharp like a knife. I was scared a bit when the eps done. I had nightmares when I woke up there were 100 repeats of Sonic the Hellhog. When I changed the channel, there were more Sonic the Hellhog. One day my friend sent me a game called Sonic the Hellhog. It was made by Sega, the note says, by my friend, I got rid of the game because he is getting me, I was creeped out, I put it in the Genesis, the screen was Sonic in blood with red eyes. That story sounded awfully familiar to another story. <laughs> Number one, Rouge EXE. Rogue and Emmy Dennis. Alright guys, are you ready for this story? Cause I'm not sure you are. This story, I don't want to hype it, but it might just change your life and your outlook on things, okay? Be ready. Hey, my name is Christopher Williams. I am big fan of Rouge the Bat. I and I about to made Rouge call her. Dark Rouge EXE, I made by Gmod, I find a prefket picture to create, I got scared of her right now in way she eat people. In shock, people blood out, she was white in Gary old picture, and her sister is white Rouge. She a powerful lady, she hurt people, I kill to her line is, I am Dark Rouge, and I go take your heart out and white one. I am white rouge, I will suck your soul out she found. Knuckles in knuckles, turn head in she got a creepy smile, her face in her sister too. Then me, about our powerful of Tor darkness, I think I made her in Gmod in my computer. Start bring picture of rouge exe, the one is Smee Rose, head got cut off by Dark Rouge. Rouge EXE by the Supreme Overlord, 
minus D53X5GC, White Rouge. And two is Amy Rose was walking with Sally Akron, and then they saw Dark Rouge and White Rouge. They were start walking to them. Amy and Sally run and screaming loud they stop. Running they saw Sonic EXE in I said, Sonic what he doing? Therein he said to them. You're too slow and you cannot escape from them in Dark Rouge and White Rouge. Attacking them in Eat Them to in Sonic Laughing I said, Go by Amy and Sally start. Laughing again so me I got so rare. How they kill Amy and Sally Tet are good people. I said why why why? Start cry in tour off my computer. I see a dark and white outside my windows. In Tenny, start a creepy smile and bled, bleed teeth and bloody picked black eye. One dark rouge eye is pitch black in red. They about disappearing in I don't believe it. I never never start make in horror stuff no more. I start dreaming about Themi dream is dark black in I was in there with Sonic and two sister in they said we are God now in we are going to eat you in creepy Ben drowned behind me I said Ben what you doing here they all eat me I woke up I sure saw a dark rouge in my bed never she her in her sister again. That was Rouge EXE. And I don't want to be mean. Like really, I don't want to be mean. But... Author. That was... The worst creepypasta I think I have ever read. Worse than Time Travel Journal. Because in Time Travel Journal... There was a semblance of a plot. You could sort of understand what was going on. With Rouge EXE? I... I'm lost and confused. Well, those were 10 of the bestest, worstest Sonic the Hedgehog stories ever. Don't you just love that 25 years of Sonic has led up to this moment? I sure am happy about that fact. Sonic has brought us joy, Sonic has brought us tears, and Sonic has brought us so much more. Here's to another 25 years, Sonic. I love you. Thanks for watching, everyone. Stay awesome. Good bye. Oh my god, that was exhausting.